Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. I'm here at Torrance, California at Electrify America's first open site. This is more of a city site, less of a travel site. You have three 50 kilowatt chargers. You have two CCS heads each. One of them has a Chatamo CCS head configuration. So really only one Chatamo port and uh, five CCS adapters. Now these are only 125 amp, 50 kilowatt chargers, so you don't really charge very quickly. So these are the BTC power units, like I said, two CCS units per, and I'm in the middle one. I actually didn't get the number three station to work. They had to reboot it, and I had already moved on by the time it had finished rebooting. So I went ahead and used this charger. One thing that you're going to note is you are going to have to pull all the way up to the bump stop. I was angled this way more because I had reset the car, uh, but if you pull into the center of the parking spot like normal, as long as you're at the bump stop, these uh, charger heads will reach. So again, two and three are both uh, dual CCS. The uh, charger number one is Chatamo CCS but they're all 50 kilowatt and they have an additional level two that will be online soon. I actually really do like this site. Uh, it's got a grocery store which is exactly you know the type of business that you want associated with one of these urban support DC chargers. Uh, they have a few other things here that are just random restaurants, food, a uh, sake house, a pizza place down there. So. There are other reasons to stop if you're traveling through, but I would not consider this a travel charger type site. These are here to support local communities, basically local EV drivers who uh, either can't charge at home and work, or maybe their charger went out or whatever. They happen to be in the neighborhood. But yeah, these chargers are very specifically for, I think, neighborhood electric vehicles so I sort of drove down here maybe out of my way a little bit to test them out I couldn't get the first charger to work it had some sort of a weird connection error uh, they had to reboot it um, I'm not sure maybe it works now uh, the the other charger though number two worked but it was a little bit finicky uh, it asks for your phone number and it will text you receipts and things like that and I don't know if that was what caused the error, but when I tried it the next time without doing that, it was able to activate just fine. I wasn't really able to get any of that on video because I was on the line with the uh, help, uh, their uh, customer service. I've heard various reports that Electrify America's customer service staff isn't available 24 seven, seven days a week, but it's 5.30. Pacific Standard Time on a Saturday and I was able to get assistance so I mean that's at least okay and this is leading into a holiday weekend so maybe they're getting a little bit better about providing support for their staff uh, maybe early on it was less prevalent but now they have nearly 40 chargers live either way uh, I was helped out and they were able to walk me through the activation session. Uh, Chris at Electrify America did a great job, rebooted one of the systems, but while we were waiting, I just moved on to the other one. It's a little bit pricey, and this is a concern for me because like EVgo, EVgo is starting to dip their toe into faster charging, but they're still maintaining the same costs as they are when it's 50 kilowatt. Well, Electrify America has both the 150 to 350 kilowatt chargers and the prices that they're currently charging are appropriate for those, but they're also applying that same pricing model to 50 kilowatt chargers, which makes these much, much more expensive to use. So I'm hoping that Electrify America varies their pricing model a little bit and they're able to adjust it so the 50 kilowatt chargers aren't so expensive. I'm going to go ahead and end the session. Charge complete. So 
and this has the idle time. So I can spend another 10 minutes here at no cost. And uh, as you can see, I started at 48% and I'm ending at 71%. Uh, but it will start to charge you money if you stay too long. So it's preventing people from just plugging in and sitting there after their charges that session has ended. The interface is cool. It has a lot of different uh, options for paying. I'd love to hear what your experiences are with these Electrify America chargers. Uh, have you used the 50 kilowatt chargers? Have you used the faster than 50 kilowatt chargers? How was it activating them? Were you able to get the cords to reach? It's pretty clear here if you didn't pull all the way up to the bump stop, it would be very difficult for it to reach the Bold EV's charge port, which is relatively close to the front of the car. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It helps me do these videos where I test out the public charging infrastructure and see what's going on. And uh, thank you for watching.